Hello everyone, hope you're well. I'm here today to film a Zara haul, the first one of 2022. I actually filmed a haul video a little while ago and didn't post it because I just didn't like it. I might throw in a couple of clips from that video, but you know when you're just not feeling it, so although I want to show you a couple of pieces from it, it just never got posted. So if it does get posted in this video, that's fantastic. I am going on holiday soon. I actually don't think I've ever been on a summer holiday that isn't in the summer. And let me tell you, you find the best, best deals. So you'll see a few kind of summary pieces in here thrown in, but it might be useful to some of you. First, I got some shoes from flannels i know of flannels but i've never really shopped on there and they have a really good selection of shoes and also i got these on sale so these are tony bianco i feel like i've heard a lot of us girls talking about these they are the annabelle strap butter napper these were 110 pounds but i think i got them for like 80 potentially i really really liked these so they're a square toe sort of strappy heel sandal but with a really manageable heel i can't do high heels anymore you guys 21 year old 22 year old barbara is out of the window they're just not practical i absolutely love these they fared well considering how much dancing and getting up we did and if you're looking for you know a nude relatively comfortable pair of heels to walk in then these are a good shout for the dress i actually after a lot a lot of trying on like yeah we won't get into it i finally decided on this sla the label dress and i think this is sarah ashcroft's brand um and it's a gorgeous slinky it's not beaded it's like little circles that are sewn onto the fabric dress so it kind of looks sequined but it's not it's almost just shimmery um it's a wrap style dress it kind of closes in at the front and then it's long and it's got a slit i'll put up a picture of the model wearing it um i got this in a size medium it is beautiful i am thinking of selling it only because i don't think i'll wear it again to be honest so if anyone in the uk is interested dm me and i'll quote you a price because I just feel like this dress needs a good home. It just needs to be dry cleaned um, and it's just a really good dress. So if you're interested, definitely DM me below. Um, I'm so impressed with the quality. I will definitely be buying from her brand again. And it's just nice sometimes supporting as well. Oh my God, oh my God, ASOS. You killed me with this set. There was a bikini set on there and I understand this is not gonna be relevant for everybody, but I have to put a picture of it up here. Literally, I drooled when I saw these bikinis. They are stunning. I kind of had my fingers crossed. I was like, hopefully the cup size works, whatever. Guys, the bikini just fits really strange. If you have boobs of any kind, this will flatten them into a pancake. I showed my boyfriend and literally he was like, get it off now. You look like you have, you look like a fly that's been squashed on the wall was his exact quote. But I think I'm going to keep the sarong. I will see. I need to get out my bikinis and see whether this will actually match anything. But this is the print and it's so gorgeous. Like, have you ever seen a sarong this pretty? And I'm just really upset because literally I was obsessed with the bikinis. But if you're going on holiday, yeah, have a look at ASOS. Going just back to another boutique brand, I had a look at this. Now, I don't know where the shorts are. I need to look for them. But I bought a little set from Club London, another site that I was trawling dresses from. And they had this little like satiny short and top set. And I just thought this was so cute. I'll put up a picture of the model wearing it because I've actually already done the try on bit for this video. But this bit that I filmed was just out of focus the whole time. And I really liked Club L. Actually, their dresses are quite nice. You just have to... Oh, I just nearly witnessed a collision. That was quite frightening. Um, they do some really cute summary sets as well. Like, you don't have to just go and look at their really fancy, fancy dresses. So, a really nice one for, like, a nicer lunch if we're doing that during the day and I don't want to wear, like, my horrible beach clothes. Um, or I can dress that up in the evening with, you know, like, a nicer shoe or something. Speaking of shoes there's going to be a camp that hates these and a camp that loves these my boyfriend just saw them and was like are you keeping those and then i put them on and he was like actually they're kind of cute 
I love these. I love a chunky sandal, especially in the summer. I find that it actually makes me look slimmer to have something chunkier rather than something very, very thin and strappy. And I saw these in Zara in the sale. I think I literally got these for like 15 pounds. And I love them, you know, with like a really simple look like that little set. I just fell in love with these. Um, this is what it would look like. Do you guys remember the days of YouTube we used to do this? And I just love them. I think they're so fun. And I thought, you know, even if they survive like one summer and then, you know, they disintegrate, then it'll be fine. And from Zara sale, I got this dress, one of those good throw on summery, you know, by the beach dresses. It's just a really cute cowl neck slit dress. I got this in a size large. Um, and it fits really, really well. I can wear this with bikini underneath it. I can again dress this up a little bit for like a nicer lunch. Because the hotel we're going to seems like people are quite dressy. And I again genuinely think I got this for like £10. Let me just show you guys the shoes first because why the hell not? Um, you guys know I have a little bit of an obsession with Sheer Lux. They are an online magazine publication they send newsletters out and stuff and i've been following them for such a long time and i follow some of the girls on it on instagram and one of the girls called polly posted a i think instagram story about buying a pair of these and i don't have a pair of designer shoes i don't think i've ever bought a pair of designer shoes i'm just not like a shoe girl and i've always been a handbag girl but I saw these were on sale and she said they were really reasonably priced. I'm going on holiday soon and I got myself a pair. So they are by by far and I actually have a bag from them too, which I probably will be taking on holiday. And this is how they come. I can't remember how much these retail for. They are still on the website, so I will be sure to link them down below. But they come with the really nice dust bag and these are them and I love them. Oh, they're so cute so they're just a pair of oh my god like slip-on shoes and they do them in leopard print white croc this green kind of patent color so many of them they fit so well um i got my true size five which i'm so happy because normally i actually size up in like open back shoes and they're just so well made i mean you can kind of tell they were more expensive yeah, my first ever pair of designer shoes i will obviously leave a link down below i was so tempted to get more colors but i was like no you just need this one you don't need more and i think i got them for 89 which is not cheap but i think they were i could be saying that they were in the 200s okay zara 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 is this gonna be good is this gonna be bad are you gonna fail me if you're wondering about my shirt it's from h&m i'm obsessed with this color this is the h&m shirt i've not done anything to it um, this is a small for reference, definitely oversized, as you can see, sorry planty. Um, I would wear it, I'm not going to properly do it now, but essentially I would scrunch up the sleeves or roll them up rather um, and just wear it a little bit more like boxy. And I would wear it like this as well if I wanted to go for a really oversized look with like a manzy trouser and some white trainers i got a blazer because i just want one again i don't i don't know why do i why did i stop wearing them and buying them i just completely stopped like i honestly have like maybe one blazer in my wardrobe now which is crazy um so yeah i just got a plain black one it does feel quite thick i got it in a size medium so let's see if this actually works and fits and stuff I then got myself a pair of manzy trousers. I honestly think I've bought these from Zara about four times, but I don't know if I'm constantly buying the same one and then not liking it, but I got a pair of trousers. I actually think these are different. They seem a bit like more high-waisted and I like these. They feel a bit more substantial than the ones I've been buying, which is really good because I've got my gray ones that I bought from H&M, which I love, but sometimes I want to wear black. So these were... $27.99 and I got a medium. I then got a green jumper. This is like my favorite color at the moment, but is this too green? I almost wish it was like a tad less neon. What do we think? Um, I really want also like a zip up jumper with like a zip front 
And I got this in a large because I've been noticing that I like all of the jumpers from Zara a bit more oversized. I think there's a green theme in this video. This is literally the, sh the color of those shoes, but yeah, I do, I do like this color, but it's a little bit too much. What do we think? Um, this was $29.99. Is Zara's pricing getting a bit more reasonable again? And I got this blazer. Does this kind of go in a weird way? Again, I'm not gonna keep both if I like them, but they also had this one, which is in kind of like a taupey color. I got this in a medium. This was more expensive. I think this was like 89 or 79, which I do think is kind of expensive. Saying this is part of a limited edition. Um, we shall see what this looks like on. I see a lot of you coming into feed with Zara trainers on and I'm always like, where are your trainers from? And you're like, Zara. And I'm constantly on the lookout for these like New Balance or like Nike trainers and whatever. And I either can't find them or can't justify the price of them. So I thought, I'm gonna keep my eyes closed and see if I like them. I like these. Am I cool enough to wear them? I would only wear these with like a manzy trouser. I wouldn't wear them with anything like really skinny. They are quite chunky. I have a chunky ankle. So I always associate a, like these trainers looking better on someone with a slightly thinner ankle. Um, they're also quite heavy, but I do like them. Do we like them? Do we not like them? I will have to try them on with one of the trainers on. The cool thing about trainers like this is I actually genuinely wouldn't want to spend a lot of money on them because I have, I, they're not the kind of trainer that I would want to like show. They're just there for the kind of structure. The only thing about these is, can you guys see they kind of like lift at the toe? So like the toe isn't like this, it's like this. I like them with the trouser like down, but I don't, I, I don't love them. I also love the trousers. I'll just show you guys. If you love a crop top, you can totally wear these so you can see them like this. They fit really well. These are a medium. Um, I'm gonna keep them. I just need to get them taken in, which I know my mom can do for me because I really like them. They're really comfortable. Um, but I don't think I love the whole thing together. Let me see what this looks like. I think the jumper's slightly too green. It's like a neon bogey color, which I don't think I love. This is the blazer. I definitely would need to get a bigger size if I want to wear it with like a sweater, but I do like the blazer. I think with like a t-shirt, it would look nice. What do we think? It's really frustrating because I want to film these videos for you guys, but the reception I get is like, if it's rubbish, don't film it. But I know that these are also my most popular videos. And it's nice to also sometimes see the clothes on like, you know, I've got quite a womanly shape and body. And yeah, I kind of hope this is helpful for someone. It's just like a black blazer. It does feel really good, like really substantial. I love the fact that it's double breasted. I could get away with wearing it clothes like this. So kind of like as a top if I wanted to, but I can also obviously wear it open which would be great. Um, yeah, I actually really like this. I think I will keep this because it feels substantial. It doesn't feel cheap. The size is really good. What do we think? And I don't think this was super expensive. I think this one was, this one was 60, which you know, for a blazer, I, I guess is. Okay, should I just show you guys the PLT stuff whilst I've got you? Like you're here, I might not try them on because a lot of them are going to be summery. I don't want to spend a lot of money on my holiday stuff because I have to be honest, a lot of the times I just wear it one holiday and then don't end up even wearing it again. I got some sandals. These are more for not the pool so much, but like if we want to go for lunch. And the great thing about going on holiday in like on a summer holiday in the not summer is everything is on sale which is something that I have to say I have not experienced before. Really like those. I was gonna get the ones by Teeks, I think it's called. They're like 60 pounds. I'm not spending 60 pounds. I then got some cover up -y stuff, which I really liked. Molly Mae was actually showing this. 
because I've noticed I wear a lot of cover-ups like I do tend to like most often wear a cover-up when I'm going to you know the beach and stuff this is really nice this is just like a beach shirt but I can totally layer this with like some of the dresses and stuff that I bought I'm not trying this on for you guys I'm gonna show them and then maybe put a picture of the models wearing it I got a slinky dress which I thought I could layer with this does feel a bit cheap though I could layer with like a shirt over it because it's just a bit too slinky for me I got this really gorgeous set that I haven't shown you guys but I'm definitely keeping it's like a green shirt can you guys tell this I'm not keeping this I don't like it um but it's just like a green set and I thought the shirt with the dress would look really good look how cute these are I love these but how stinking cute with a bikini and the good thing is like all the bikinis I got which I'm really keeping my hands crossed that some of these look good are super basic so you can really interchange them so like I basically got ooh, I hope this fits I basically got they only go up to a size 16 in the tops like really simple bikinis in the hope that they would you know go with everything I don't can I ask why are high bottoms in again like for me they don't suit my body shape at all I hope this was good and interesting somewhat guys it's really honestly difficult to film videos anymore you know I know YouTube's not what it was at all but does anyone still enjoy these um otherwise I'm considering strongly moving my content over to Instagram that's just the way it's going to be um so yeah I would love some feedback about even though sometimes the content isn't this is just me this has always been me I'm not here to make crazy videos with crazy editing it's just genuinely my life I think if most of my audience is on there then that's a step that I'm willing to make I am thinking of doing a clothes sale now I have a lot of clothes that are just lying about in my house in bags in storage etc at my mom's house and I've been thinking of the most time efficient everything efficient like you know posting efficient everything efficient way of doing it and I'm thinking of holding a sale at my studio so I have a studio space in Houston as some of you guys might know and I'm thinking of hosting a sale in March time where essentially you guys can come in and shop my wardrobe basically bring your own bags like your big IKEA bags um, and just come and shop my my wardrobe I it will probably be a very like it'll be like a face-to-face -face depop sale so the more you buy the better deal you'll also get there'll be a couple of pieces which I'll be a bit more strict on the price but otherwise you know you'll be essentially coming and shopping my wardrobe everything will be sold as seen and more than likely I will hold some kind of like time slot system so it's safe people are coming you'll have like a time period to come and buy um, but yeah let me know what you guys think I just think this way I get to meet some of you you get to get my clothes I get to get rid of a lot of things which I really really don't want and need anymore um, I'm just it's gonna be jewelry some homeware bits um some unopened makeup that kind of stuff so yeah let me know what you guys think just tell me down below by saying the sale and i'll know what you guys mean i will see you all very soon you guys thank you so much for watching fingers crossed that some of these things look cute now i need to run off to a doctor's appointment super fun i love you guys all so much take care bye